Hello there, thank you for watching New Vision TV. My name is Victoria Namtebi. For Around Uganda, let's start off with the headlines. Ten workers who set off from Luzira in Kampala on Monday morning finally arrive in Gulu district. Kabera Maido District Council recognizes contributions of the late Commissioner of Police, Christine Alalo. And finally, Muslim top leaders in Arua launch investigations into missing funds. And now the news in detail. Ten workers who set off from Luzira in Kampala on Monday morning have finally arrived in Gulu District. The team held a charity walk for a 460-kilometer walk or food journey to Ajumani District to conserve Zoka Forest. Now waving to people in buses and roadsides, the workers who were flagged off by the Minister of Water and Environment, some kept tourists, were being assisted by four officials from the Ministry of Water and Environment. The charity work organized by the Ministry to commemorate Uganda Water and Environment Week, which is slated for the 18th of March 2019. 43-year-old Geoffrey Walker Ayeni, the founder of the Workers' Association of Uganda arrived at Gulu at 12 p.m. after nine days on the road. Kabiramaido District Council has recognized contributions of the late Commissioner of Police, Christine Alalo, and honored her during its council session. The district vice chairperson, Samuel Okelo, moved the motion and it was seconded by Immaculate Ilalo, the councillor for Kalaki and Kakure sub counties in the district council. Okelo said, Alalo, who comes from Kalaki sub county, performed her duties diligently and died while performing her duties as assigned by government. Alalo died in a plane crash in Ethiopia on Sunday and burial arrangements are still underway. Over now to Arua district where top Muslim leaders have launched investigations into missing funds meant for supporting vulnerable Muslims in the district. The 30,000 US dollar donation, now that's an equivalent of about 110 million Uganda shillings, was mobilized by Muslim brothers from Malaysia to support vulnerable Muslims in the district. Sheikh Abu Jafar Shaban, the district caddy for Arua, says the money landed in wrong hands and the Muslim leadership is already investigating those who swindled the funds. He says he launched the investigation after getting information from the Malaysian donors that some individuals had actually swindled the money. The police in Mayuge district have arrested a district councillor and four other residents for allegedly being in connection with theft of over 400 piglets. Zidia Namaganda, a district councillor representing Chitiereda sub-county in Mayuge district, was arrested by police in conjunction with the office of the district resident commissioner. Now, the piglets were part of the supplies under the poverty alleviation program aimed at improving household income of residents in the model village of Chitiereda, where President Yoweri Museveni has, has a state lodge. Rogers Kapere, the Mayuge District Police Commander, said Namaganda and others whose names were not identified were arrested following a directive from the resident district commissioner. And finally, the Adventist Development and Relief Agency recently launched a campaign that will see Batua communities in Kisoro District embark on sheep rearing to boost their income. The move saw five communities get free sheep from the organization for rearing. Now 13 sheep were donated to each community. According to Julian Namiaba, the Batua Alive Project Manager in Adra, more than 90 Batua households in Kisoro District will benefit from the Ship Banks Project. The Batua are one of the oldest surviving tribes in Africa. Their traditional hunting ground comprised of forested areas in what is now Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi and the Democratic Republic of Congo. However, in 1991, due to conservation projects to protect mountain gorillas, the Mgahinga Gorilla National Park in Uganda was created in the south of the country, 15 kilometers from the town of Kisoro, and Uganda's 6,700 strong Batwa community were evicted from the Bwindi impenetrable forest where they had lived for centuries. And that's it for now. Stay tuned to New Vision TV. My name is Victoria Namtebi.